Paul Galetta, Senior Technology Specialist at Mauser Electronics. I'm here today to demonstrate the Microchip Polar Fire FPGA Video and Imaging Kit, the MPF 300 Video Kit. Microchip Technology Incorporated is a leading provider of smart, connected, and secure embedded control solutions. Its easy to use development tools and comprehensive product portfolio enable customers to create optimal designs which reduce risk while lowering total system cost and time to market. Microchip's Polar Fire FPGA Video and Imaging Kit offer a high performance evaluation of 4K image processing and rendering using dual camera sensors as well as numerous display interfaces. The kit is purpose built for effortless prototyping of popular imaging and video protocols including MIPICSI 2 TX, MIPICSI 2 RX, HDMI 1.4 TX, HDMI 2.0, DSI, and HD 3G SDI. With a 300K Logic Element Polar Fire FPGA with DDR4 and SPI Flash, the Polar Fire FPGA video and imaging kit are ideally suited for mid bandwidth imaging and video applications. The Polar Fire device on board optimizes IOs, transceiver rates, lookup table architecture, memories, and DSPs for mid density, mid bandwidth ranges. It delivers a superior solution at much lower power and lower total cost of ownership. The kit enables easy design of applications that include machine vision, surveillance, displays by way of protocol conversion, stereo vision through depth estimation, and medical imaging. Let's look at the kit contents of the MPF 300 video kit. It comes with a 300K LE Polar Fire FPGA in an FCG 1152 package. There is a dual camera sensor board, HDMI cable, USB 2.0A to Mini B cable, 12 volt 5 amp AC power adapter and cord, one year Libero Gold software license, and a quick start card. The system comes preloaded with programming software, allowing you to output a video. Let's look at how to download and install the software. Navigate to the link shown. Scroll down the page until you locate the documentation section. Click the link for the Polar Fire FPGA Dual Camera Video Kit Demo Guide. Once downloaded, locate and open the guide. This guide will provide all the information and additional links required to complete this demo. It is recommended to review the documentation entirely before continuing. Locate Section 2.2 for the prerequisites which will provide links for downloading the required software. Click each link and download the required programming and installation files. Please note that an account will be required. Locate the downloaded items and extract the archived files. Open the folder containing the file name Library OSAC GUI and run the setup application file to install the video control GUI following all on screen instructions. Next, install the Flash Pro programming tool by executing the downloaded debug software file, making sure to follow all on screen instructions. Microchip's Polar Fire Video and Imaging Kit provides feasible programmability using an onboard embedded Flash Pro 5 programmer. The board can also be programmed with standalone Flash Pro 4 or 5 hardware. IAP programming and debug support is also provided on the board. Before programming the board, you will need to ensure that the hardware is configured correctly. You can refer to Table 2 in Section 2.5.1 
for the correct jumper settings as well as an outline of connections to the board. Open the Flash Pro Express software. Select New from under the Job Projects box. Click Browse next to Locate the Programming Job File. This will be in the extracted file LibrarySock underscore JB. Select the file and click Open. Hit OK. Connect the mini USB cable from your PC to J12 on the Polar Fire. Verify that the programmer and device are detected. If not, you may need to reset the board, check your connections, or try to refresh rescan for programmers. Click Run. Now that the board is programmed, let's get the demo running. Plug in power to the Polar Fire board at J20. Plug in the mini USB plug from the Polar Fire board J12 to the USB port on your PC. Connect an HDMI cable from J2 of the Polar Fire to an HDMI port on your display. J2 is full high definition, however, if a 4K display is available, designers may use J1. Turn on the power using the SW4 slide switch. You should immediately begin seeing video displayed as well as a picture-in-picture -picture window floating across the screen. Locate the installed GUI program and run it. Select the appropriate COM port from the drop-down list. Click the image to connect. From here you can now make adjustments to the image such as alpha, contrast, brightness, as well as color balance. PolarFire's sophisticated imaging and video architecture supports special image signal processing IPs for edge detection or alpha blending. Designers may set the PolarFire to either bare or image edge detection as well as control the PIP menu and panning of the image. Tomorrow's solutions demand increased image processing capabilities throughout the network in the most power efficient manner. Microchip's PolarFire FPGA video and imaging kit allows designers to evaluate 4K image processing and rendering using dual camera sensors and numerous display interfaces. To get more information about how you can effortlessly prototype with popular imaging and video protocols, click on the link below.